Hello everybody, Squash coming up with another video. In this video I want to talk about the uh, Birdel Fellhammer, a uh, void epic from the Dwarf faction. He's a Fire Knight specialist. Super good for Fire Knight if you guys are struggling in, in uh, killing the, the boss there, working on your missions to get your Arbiter and you do not have a Cold Heart or you do not have uh, any other similar champions that they have multi-hits and stuff. He's one of the champions that can definitely help you beating the Fire Knight. Now, Fire Knight, in my opinion, is probably the second hardest dungeon after the Spider. Because it does require specific champions for it. You cannot really cheese it the same way you cheese the Dragon or the Golem and stuff. So let's have a quick look at his skills and stuff, guys. So we have his A1, attacks one enemy two times. Each hit has a 40% chance, fully booked, to place a 100% heal reduction debuff for two turns. Heal reduction is super important for the Fire Knight because... Every time he gets a turn after his slam, he's gonna heal himself. So having a heal reduction on the Fire Knight is super important. We have his A2, attacks one enemy three times, places a shield buff on this champion equal to 30% of the damage inflicted for three turns. And that's on a three turn cooldown fully booked. Then we have his passive, which is probably the most important part here. Places a counter-attack buff on this champion for one turn at the start of each round. Places a counter-attack buff on this champion for one turn at the end of their turn. So that means that this champion will always have counter-attack buff on himself, no matter what. At the beginning of the round, once he attacks, again he's placing counter-attack on himself, which makes him super good uh, for the Fire Knight because we have his A1 on... Uh, two hits with the counter attack he will have four hits as long as he gets slammed so we have his aura increases ally attack in dungeons by 32 percent now artifacts we, we have on him a speed set and a lifesteal set the reason i gave him lifesteal is because i have a lot of lifesteal gear just hanging around and i'm not using it so i decided to use it on him so we have the weapon right here guys we have the helmet the shield a gauntlet, crit damage gauntlet, we have attack chest piece and we have speed boots. We have a defense ring and I'll explain you in a second why. We have a crit damage amulet and we have an accuracy banner. Total stats, we have a 36k HP, 3.2k attack, 1.7k defense, 200 speed, 102 crit rate, 209 crit damage, 264 accuracy. Resistance is not important by any means. So the reason... I chose to give him a defense ring is because his base defense is super low, is only 683. So just with the substats you're getting and the shield and stuff, you're not gonna be able to to tank him enough to, to survive the slam and stuff. Another good build for him will be um if you have a a stalwart set that would work awesome on him as well because it does reduces the damage you're gonna get from aoe attacks by 30 percent so when the fire knight actually slams his shield the damage reduction will be 30 percent you you can stack him with a lot of hp but still having 200 k hp and no defense is not gonna mean nothing he's still gonna go down super easily because it's no defense to actually make him strong master is on him guys we have offense and support three so we have a Deadly Precision, we have Kin Strike, we have Heart of Glory, we have Life Drinker, we have Single Out, we have Bring It Down, we have Methodical, we have Kill Streak, and for the last one we have Giant Slayer. Because he does have a lot of multi-hit skills and stuff, I definitely think it's better to have him on Giant Slayer, specifically for the, for the dungeon boss and stuff. I, ha I haven't made the full damage build on him. How you guys can see, we have some different masteries. We have Life Drinker and stuff, so he can uh, gain a bit of HP when he's uh, under 50% and stuff. Then we have on the Support Tree, Pinpoint Accuracy. We have Charge Focus. We have Swarm Smitter. We have Evil Eye to decrease the turn meter on the first hits we do with our A1. We have Cycle of Magic. And we have Sniper to increase that chance of uh, placing heal reduction from his A1. So, now that we checked everything on him, guys, let's throw him in in some teams. Check out what he can do in the Fire Knight. So, first, let's throw him in with Resin, Lissandra, Draco, Cardinal. I definitely do not think he's an 
endgame champion for speedruns and stuff, but for all of you early game, mid player games and stuff that uh, struggle with the Fire Knight, and I know are a lot of you guys out there struggling with the Fire Knight, he's definitely gonna be a huge help for you guys. How oh, I said, heal reduction is super, super, super important on the actual boss, especially if you don't have a lot of Termiter control. Of course, if you don't do not have a heal reduction on any of the champions and stuff, you can always put on your Apothecary on an or on another champion uh, heal reduction set. I think you get it from the Ice Golem, if I remember it right. It's only a 50% heal reduction, but it's still super helpful to have it on. If you don't have a Cold Heart or other champions with heal reduction. Now, this dungeon does require a lot of specific champions to be multi-hitters, to have Termiter control, to have decreased speed. Now, instead of a Draco right here, honestly, if I would have had a... Stagnite leveled up, I would have used the Stagnite, but I don't have Stagnite leveled up. He works amazing on the Fire Knight. He has his A1 with decreased speed, double hits, defense down and attack down on, on the waves, which is super important as well. Attack down on the Fire Knight is pretty, pretty important if you want to survive those uh, slams and stuff. Now, in this team, I'm going without attack down. So we're going to see if the Fire Knight is actually going to end up in getting a turn because of Lissandra or no, and uh, Resin as well. We're gonna try him on a different team as well after. So we're gonna try a couple of uh, different teams as well and see how he how he does, guys. I don't honestly think he's uh, great for many other aspects in the game, so I really don't think he's good for the Golem, definitely not good for the Spider. He can be used in the Dragon if you do decide to give him a bit more more attack and stuff to go uh, full damage on him. I don't see him good for Arena, honestly. But the Fire Knight, that, that's the place for him right here. So, he does get a slam. We do get our counter from him, so double hit already there. Plus, we're going to get two more hits from him when he's going to get his uh, Termiter up. And finally get his turn. And see how is it going from here on. He still didn't place the heal reduction on, on the Fire Knight yet. We got the Termiter down there with Resin. We got that heal reduction up. Honestly, from here on, I do not think the, the Fire Knight will have a chance to get a turn. But we're about to see. I'm pretty sure they're going to... Keep the Termiter down on him. So 14k hits, 13k hits, Giant Slayer proc as well. It doesn't have crazy attacks, so I'm not expecting him to do huge amount of damage. 15k hit, 16k hit from his A1. Pretty good hits, honestly. More of a support champion type of hits because he's not hitting that hard, but we did got that those Giant Slayer procs in there as well. That's why... I, I chose to give him Giant Slayer because I think it's more important on the on the boss to proc that Giant Slayer rather than give him a flawless execution. His damage will not increase as much as a, a Giant Slayer proc and stuff. So overall, I think he's a much better option. Definitely a slow team. How I said, it's not an end game champion for fast for uh, fast runs and stuff. But for whoever struggles with the Fire Knight and you do have one of one of these paranoid dudes in the vault. Definitely worth it to, to work on him. There we go. Not a bad piece. Wish we, we would have had speed on it. So let's have a, a quick change here. Let's let's see if we use Apotheker instead of um, instead of Lissandra. What will happen? I have no idea. I did not try that. So let's give it a go like this. And after we're going to throw a Cold Heart in here as well. And uh, see how, how much faster it will be. Fifteen K hits with weaken and defense down. Pretty good. I mean, we got fifty percent off of his uh, HP there. He does places that counter when he gets hit, which is awesome. Now this definitely seems that seems like a slower team because uh, we do not have that uh, decreased termiter on the enemies now. So. The only one that has decreased Termiter is Resin. Resin, of course, is a fusion champion. <clears throat> Everyone eventually will be able to get Resin as long as they're not the most unluckiest persons 
on earth and missing a rare champion that they're never gonna be able to get it which is unlikely as long as you keep grinding it eventually you will be you will be getting it so having a revival is super important as well here of course you're able to use a uh, Gorgorab instead of Cardinal, you can use Broadma. Broadma is again another fusion champion. A bit underrated for an epic uh, reviver. But he will do the job as well. You can uh, use probably a Reliquary Tender as well. Because on the ways, most probably on a team like this, you will be having uh, issues and you will be losing somebody. So you do want to have a revive up and going. A lot of uh, reviving champions out there, epic. A few rares as well. Legendaries as well. So Blind Seer, she's amazing here. You can use a Tyrell if you want for a takedown as well. He works pretty good, but a lot of weak hits from him because he's weak affinity. My first Fire Knight team as well, I did use Tyrell in there. And I think honestly my first my first Fire Knight run, I think was around 10 minutes long. And if I remember it right, I used the Ray as lead. To have more speed, I used the uh, Gorgorab, I used the uh, Xavier, I used the um, Allure, and I think I used the um, Tyrell. But, true, I didn't have the best gear at that point and stuff, so I think it took me around 10 minutes my first run. So it's nothing wrong in having in a, a long runs on your first few ta times and stuff, till you unlock your Arbiter and stuff. From there on, you can only improve, honestly. So, we actually got lucky with that uh, hit on the Termiter because it literally went down on the last hit. So, we did decrease the Termiter, which allowed us to get a few turns in here. So, let's see. With a team like this, what's the time we get and stuff. So we got resisted there, but already we have a weaken and defense down, so it's not, not as important. 60k hits, a Giant Slayer proc as well. We got that counter back on going, so we already knocked down the shield with two hits. So now with resin as well, you see the Termiter is super low on it. How I said, Stagnite is amazing here. If he does manage to place that uh, decrease speed on the boss, it's actually huge to have decrease speed on him and heal reduction at the same time. Because that will allow you overall to get a lot of uh, hits in it. I will try probably in the near future to... to sort out the stagnite as well on my account so i can play around with it but i can definitely recommend you stagnite he's super super good for it oh i said that attack down is super important here if i was having attack down my apothecary wouldn't have been so low now i wouldn't have had a the chance to actually lose a champion here which is it can be a high probability so we did got a bit of termiter decrease from resin four min four minutes uh run guys but if you do need that help you do need a, another multi hitter to to throw in your team it's definitely a guy to work on now i do want to try him on a different sort of team to make a bit of more damage and stuff so let's see how how fast would my team be if i would change something here so how you guys saw i have 49 seconds the fastest time and that's been with Lissandra, two Cold Hearts, Draco and Lanakis. So I'm gonna bring in a Cold Heart here. I'm not even gonna check check which one is the best I've got. I'm gonna go like this. I'm not gonna go with a Reviver. Probably I'm gonna regret it. I have a feeling, but let's give it a go. If we do have problems, we're gonna swap Lanakis for an Arbiter and see what's happening there. Because at least with Cold Hearts we do have the, the AoE hits, so that will that helps us more on the actual waves. So if you do, you guys are interested in uh, in speed runs on the Fire Knight and stuff, two Cold Hearts are the way to go. Have a Lissandra, have a Draco or a Ghostborn, a Stagnite. Honestly, I do think Draco is better because he does deal uh, more damage. We do have his A2 with uh, four hits, so overall I think he's better than a Ghostborn. If you have a Kaimar instead of Lanakis, that will pretty much give you around one minute time on average. When you're lucky, under a minute and stuff. 
So that's for whoever wants to go for uh, for speed teams. There are like, quite a few options out there. So I have a feeling that right here is the moment when I'm going to regret that I don't have a reviver because that arrow is about to clap me probably. And he, if he's going to kill my Draco, that's going to be a bit of a problem. But he went for the Falhammer here, which was quite lucky. So one minute, definitely not fast even with this team so if i would have Coldheart in here probably by now the boss would have been dead because i do average with that around one minute and ten seconds but it will help overall to get the, the boss the boss down faster now he's not dealing a lot of damage unfortunately so he's not a super heavy hitter but again the multi hits and uh not an end game champion honestly Early game, mid game for the Fire Knight. Whoever got lucky enough to pull him and whoever needs him is a good uh, a good option for you guys. 20k hits there. He's not doing too bad. Not too bad. Still, we went on two minutes, so all one minute longer than uh, than usual. He does have a long animation as well, placing counter on himself all the time and stuff. So it does take it pretty long. We have 800k damage from him again. Pretty much very similar with the other rounds. So that was it, guys. Fire Knight Specialist. For whoever needs help in the Fire Knight, considering building him if you do have one. Appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate the support. And uh, I will see you all soon on another video. Till then, guys, take care and uh, peace out, my dudes.